The second racial slur found in a Purdue building in less than a year. News 18's Holly Campbell reports what the university says it may have to do about the problem. Whoever put that up there is probably not going very many places in life, so they can do whatever they want to do. I think it's sad and disappointing that there's so much ignorance here. Students are speaking out about another racially charged incident that happened inside Cranert Hall. A Purdue spokesperson says two witnesses saw a group of men write the N-word on a whiteboard in the Roland G. Parish Library. Purdue police investigated the case and eventually turned it over to the dean of students. Because using discriminatory language isn't against the law, the persons responsible will not be charged. Vice Provost for Diversity Dr. Christine Taylor says an act of racism like this doesn't belong at Purdue. Our house is a Purdue community. Those behaviors that would lead someone to feel like I don't belong, I'm not a part, that are discriminatory, that are harassing, they do not belong. No, not in our house. This is the second incident where a racial slur was found in the Cranert building in less than a year. In February, a picture of Dr. Cornell Bell inside the Cranert building was defaced with the N-word. Taylor says dealing with another bias incident, the term for both incidents, is shaking the Purdue community. That we have these two incidents that have happened so closely together. We're all stunned about that. Craner spokesperson Charlene Sullivan says faculty are considering installing surveillance cameras in the building. Sullivan says if that is an option, they may have to limit access to the building. If we can't have cameras everywhere all the time and can't have staff always uh, in place, sort of monitoring behavior all the time, then can we afford to have our facilities open a as much as, as we do? Students say they don't want that to happen. Holly Campbell, News 18. Purdue's Vice Provost for Diversity, Dr. Christine Taylor, says the Dean of Students will determine what disciplinary actions are necessary for the people who they believe were responsible for writing the racial slur on the whiteboard.